Hello everyone. We are in the brand new 2020 Jeep 2020 Jeep. Can you just drive properly, please? I'm literally driving at like 10 k's an hour. We are in the Jeep, the new Jeep Sahara. Wrangler. Yeah, Sahara 3.6 liter. Oh, why well, did you have to say it the exact same time I said? The 3.6 V6 yes. auto, the two door. You only now, get 3.6 nowadays. You don't get the diesel. Yeah, according to because slowly but surely people have realized that there's no point in these cars. Well, what do you mean there's no point in who these cars? Who does this for fun? It's not like, like doing for fun. Just because you're a little Santon boy who only likes to go to the beach and you go to Clifton, but um, doesn't mean that people don't enjoy this kind of thing. What is there to enjoy with these things? For instance, right now, imagine we're on our way to holiday or on holiday. Yes, on a nice straight road in a sports car. Okay. Why? Uh, who, who, who are you all of a sudden? <laughs> what? And we're not even going fast. We're not even going fast at all. But I mean, this car's finessing this kind of setup. This has the. Uh, this is a brand new car completely. Yeah. Although it looks exactly the same. They're, pulling, like, they're pulling a Porsche. New 911. No, it's but you exactly must also realize same. this is an iconic car. So, with an iconic car such as a Jeep Wrangler, you don't want to mess with the Formula too much. You do want to see some updates. So, 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 if you look at the front of the car, you'll notice that there's an LED light here and there yes. that's been made yes. different. I do like this car. There's many elements of it I do like. The engine oh my is interesting. Okay. It's nice to also drive something that is naturally aspirated. Exactly. We live in an era of turbocharged cars. This yeah. car's got a 3.6 liter V6, 209 kilowatts, and it works. It's not overly slow. It's not very fast, okay. but it gets you going. Can I just, just can I just interject there? You're yeah. talking absolute nonsense. Yeah. It works. How much do you spend on fuel in this car? No, no, it is quite heavy on fuel. Exactly. So, and I mean, so it works. I think the real world figures, I think the combined, works, huh? the combined um, consumption figures are something within the eights or the nines. Um, <laughs> There's no way. But I don't believe that, honestly speaking. I mean, using this car in the two, um, two wheel drive mode, you still do use a lot of fuel. So what's there not to like about this? That's my question. It's an off-road car, number one, <laughs> and number all. It's an off-road car. No. There's nothing to write, like about an off-road car. Unless you're into farms, unless you live around an area like this, there's yeah. nothing to get, like, look at this. This is so unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it is so cool. You don't do this to a car. Why no, are we doing this to a car? but that's the whole point. Car? You do, you, you must do this kind of things in a car like this. That's the whole point of it. That's why you'll see that even though, I'll give it this, in terms of the interior and all that kind of stuff in the car, it is good quality materials, but they are harder plastics because this car needs to be able to go bundu bashing. This car does cost you 860,000 Rand. I, I honestly cannot believe that. Yeah. But that is a lot of money to be spending on a two-door Jeep Wrangler. On a car that, that, that is very limited in terms of practicality and in terms of application. Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> if you're going... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, it's nothing that appeals to me about what you just said. Absolutely nothing. That appeals... You come back muddy and what, do you, are you listening to what you're saying? I am. And I like this kind of thing. I, I feel that everything has got its place. Yes, there's a place for cars going sideways on a track, but then when you want to go off-road, you need to have something like this. 100%. And I do like this. Yeah, I do just can't think. Don't involve me in this no, fair play, fair play. What I do think, I do believe that this car You're going out of the facility, which I would prefer, <laughs> but you need to go back. So the question is, would you buy it? No. Really? No. I would... Oh, it costs a lot of money. 860,000 Rand for a two-door Jeep Wrangler, I think, is a lot of money. But overall, I can understand the appeal because one thing we need to bear in mind is that there's a certain appeal when it comes to owning a car like this. People like the lifestyle element. People like the fact that... <laughs> 
you look like you're in just, you know. I'm just waiting for you to get over so we can cut to a scene where I'm driving something special. 